Hey everybody, welcome back to my From the Ashes 30 Days to Die. So, we did a bit of mining last night, didn't get a lot of iron, like 317. Put a bit of clay in here to get this stuff going. We're going to need forged iron uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, so I didn't do, like I said, too much last night. Um, and let's get in here. Sort of the storage a little bit, just like all the tools and things like that over here. Let's actually bring a couple of these with us today um, for our shovel. We're going to be making a shovel hopefully sooner rather than later. I think we can make iron tools now. Um, but yeah, let's just grab a little bit more of our supplies here to take with us. Do we have any bacon and eggs available? We do. Let's just take all three of those. Eh, a couple more of these. Just one more. Um, so that should be good for today. Let's just uh, take a drink of this. How are we doing here? Ah, 112. we got lots. Okay. So, um... We're going to go and pick up our uh, airdrop that we didn't get a chance to do yesterday. And we are also going to uh, pick up some more quests from the trader today. Uh, let's put our bike down. Oh, we don't need a hammer, so let's just drop that in here. I always take that down with me into the mine just in case I need to put uh, wood frames down. I just always reinforce them. So I always take a hammer with me. If I had a hammer. All right, so let's go to the trader. Oh, he's not going to be open yet. So I tell you what, let's uh, take down some trees. We are going to need wood for spikes. Hopefully we can find some Zambonis out here too. And take, take and kill really quick. All right, guys, Trader Joel's is now open. I took a whole bunch of trees down. I took these guys down too, because those are the ones I was talking about that were uh, impeding our vision while we were riding down the road here. So it just kind of clears things up. You can see zombies if they're out there. Um, got over a thousand wood we got almost got like we picked up like 1500 wood or somewhere around there 1800 wood which is excellent all right let's go see what he's got for us today walk in here with my club out what a wonderful day it is uh, what do you got for jobs nothing that's close clear zombies tier two um uh, wow 4.7 kilometers eh all right never mind we are going to go... Uh, did I, I did check this guy, right, for parakeets, weighted head. Yeah. Oh, semi-trigger group. That's kind of nice. I didn't bring my money, though. Oh, my he restocks on day 13. we got a bit of time. Yeah, maybe. You might. We are going to go down to the other trader and grab a quest from him today, I think. See what he's got down there. Should have brought my catch with me. But what can you do? All right, I am gonna make a quick stop here, though. I'm gonna grab this. Yeah, we already did this one. All right. Maybe a bit of brass counts, especially later in the game when you're trying to make your own ammo. As much brass as you have, or you can get early on, it's probably pretty good. Let's leave that there. I know last episode I said I'd take it with me, but. There's no zombies out there right now, so I'm not worried about it. All right, what do you got? Okay, fucker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Yeah. No, we're going down to the other guy. Going down to the other guy. Yeah, a couple of wanderers. All right, let's head down to the far one in the snow biome. We got to go this way to pick up our airdrop anyway. All right, here we go. Let's hope he's got something not too far away. Give me assistance. Uh, yeah, but oh, I don't need that. Apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. I need a job. Is what I need. Clear zombies. Let's do that one today. We already did a fetch. Clear zombies. Fetch slash clear. One point nine kilometers though. Let's do something close. I've been a little predict oh, thank you very much. I will make it worth your while. I hope you will. So that trader, I don't know. Very feminine in features, very masculine in voice. I don't know whether to call them a she or a he. Either way. Or it could be them. But I just go with the voice. All right. Oh, good. It's in the same direction as our airdrop. Wait, the airdrop's like right here, isn't it? 
See, I wish those fetch slash clear quests were like, there's somebody trapped in a house, can you bring them back here? Because that would be kind of cool. Because then you couldn't actually ride your bike back. They'd have to follow you. Kind of reminds me of those old... Uh, um, Bethesda um, Elder Scrolls quests where the, your person follows you. Ah, could have been worse. I don't know why they put paper in there, but whatever. In case I need to write them a note. Dude, send me a beaker. Tell you what, send me a whole workbench. Send me, send me a, a whole alchemy station or a, a cement mixer. Cement mixer, I think, would be the best one. I take that first. Yeah, so, you know, I was thinking about doing a series where I'd be, like, finding, uh, like, the best POIs to, to uh, set up a base in. This place here is an early base. It's actually really nice. Uh, it's brick walls. And then you've got this iron fence with 2,500 hit, hit points, the fence, and then the brick on the outside. The church... Oh, there's a wolf over there. We're going to ride out of here. Uh, the, the building is actually relatively easy to clear. There's graves to loot. Uh, if you'd like to enjoy doing that kind of thing. And we're going into the wasteland biome because of course we are. Oh god. Why is it all wasteland around here? Is this our house that we're going to? Looks like it is. 40 meters, there it is. Alright, let's kill these two jerks. Ooh, that was simple. Sorry, I'm just listening for a dog there. Thought I heard the shuffling of a dog. Of a doge. Now, I'm not sure how we were doing with, with arrows here. 75. I think we got enough. Oh, okay. Oh, this isn't the one I think it is. Do we go up here? I think we do. Up and over. There's one where you drop into a hole. Yeah, this don't look good. Yeah, there's one where you drop into a hole and go in the, the uh, place that way. Uh, let's get our frame is. And of course we can't get up that high. Let's get this box. Got a feeling we're not going to be coming back in the garage, so we'll get what we can before we go. Yeah, okay, let's scrap this. Take that. Man, we're almost out of room already. It's because that stupid airdrop. Oh, yeah, this doesn't inst instill confidence. Does not help that we have the helmet light on. I hear a moaner. Okay, let's close this. Is that a horde outside? It's a friggin' wandering horde outside, guys. Again, how many times? How many times? Well, you guys came through pretty quick, eh? You must have jumped over. Oh, man. Well, could be worse. Could have been a pack of dogs. Now I'm just tempting fate. Something about this box has made her very angry. 
Yo, I'm right here. Okay, I'm still hearing somebody. We're gonna go back inside. Man. Well, at least it's exciting. I'll give it that. Okay, let's close this door. While we gather up the cables. So we gotta clear this whole building. Still within the area. I don't know how big the area is on the outside though. I mean, worst case scenario, we just run circles around the building. That guy's outside for sure. And there's a dog. Because of course there is. Do you guys hear the dog? I heard the dog. All he's got to do is hear us. We got to pull out the gun. We'll wake the whole house up. That'll be the end of that. Oop. Hey, Mo. What's up, buddy? Come on, head up. Head up. I love how the guys outside have more sensitive hearing than the guys inside. But I guess they are walking, so... They're probably quote unquote awake. If I can get a vantage point, that dog is dead. Okay, let's hope he doesn't hear us in here. De cuisine. That's a wolf. I thought it was a regular dog, but it's a wolf. What were you doing in the cover with her? Crotch shot. She's got some speedy shuffle to her. That's the back door probably that goes outside. Yeah, Cage was saying, watching one of his most recent video, he's talking about people saying to him, do a stealth build. I'm going to turn this off for now. That was a big boy outside. And uh, he's saying that, oh, it's going to be slow and all that. And I get it. As someone who's got an ADHD, I totally get it. But as far as survival goes, stealthing through a building is really the way to go. I mean, yeah... I to he died somehow he's all like I'm just gonna die now they both died they couldn't handle my awesomeness that's what it is that dog is making short work of those zombies out there look at them slow motion death they both Ooh, excuse me they both disappeared but yeah as far as the stealth build goes I mean, you stealth, you, like, I, I don't put any points into stealth other than the uh, extra damage. Because as far as I'm concerned, if things are going to go foobar, they're going to go foobar no matter what. And you just run. But the stealthing through the house just makes perfect sense. You can, wow, you didn't even hear that. Unless you're in for it, like, you want to have a big fight. Like, I know he likes to get in and get good action close up and I, I, I just can't play the game that way I'm not good enough to be able to do it I'll end up dying like almost every time but this way you can clear the, most of them out that's a good job hiding Mo uh, you can clear most of them out right and then um, when you do, when things do go a little foobar or at a certain point, then you just kind of rock it. You know, you go to town on them. Mo, 
Dude, your house is full of mo's today. It's Daryl and his other brother Daryl. Is there another one back there too? There is. Stay down, stay down, go to sleep, go to sleep. Like there's an example of it kind of going foobar, but the bonus thing about it is you've killed already so many stealthy that it's like, you know, they're not going to show up on you, run you down. Now I bet you he was in here. I'm used to coming through this house as a ruin, not as a full house. That dog is still out there. I bet you there's something up there. Sure is. It's trash though. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them up there. See what I mean about... Like, you can stealth it all you want, but... At a certain point, there is no more stealth. What's up, Mo? You're gonna break all my damn stairs, are you? Crotch shot. Crotch shot. Come on, Mo. Uh, I don't know how you got a hold of me there, but whatever. I'm tired. Whoop. That's the dog attacking the building now. Okay, I'm going to use one of these. Didn't want to have to do that, but apparently I have to. Just make it so he can't get out of there or get up to us that is all right we got one more door i'm gonna loot the shiz out of this place Bonjour. hello come ça va ça va bien Why me sava bien? Oh see. The dog's just sad he can't get into well there's more up here too still. He's sad he can't get into the uh the action down here. You see what I mean though? Like I'd have had to face four zombies there. Um And this way it's just, you know. It's one. It's one zombie. Does that go outside? Probably does, eh? No, it doesn't. Where is this? Oh, it's above the... Uh course I can't get past there. Why would I be able to? Let's take the house apart. Alright, so that's... the other part of the attic? I guess it is. Looks down on it. Alright, that makes sense. What do we got? A little bit of ammo. Oh, an SMG. Some body armor and a cool, pretty friggin' helmet looking thing. Let's get this open. That dog, he is persistent. More, f oh, really? More f uh, repair kits. Okay, uh, this is probably something. Sure is. Yeah. I've been selling the steel jacket and ammo. But I don't think really... I mean, I guess it's emergency ammo, but I've never needed it, so I just sell it. More stuffs. 
I hear you down there, buddy. I'm sorry I'm not there for you to eat. I really am. Okay, we're going to keep the hunting knife. Let's ditch the bone knife now. Uh, what else can we scrap here? Anything? I want to wrench the chairs. Let's eat the peas. Let's use this. And the can of miso. It's giving us a bit of water back, too. We can scrap this. We can scrap that. It's going to save a bit of weight. All right. Let's move on. Oh, the bookshelf in there. Two bookshelves. Wow. What is this? Shotgun choke schematic. Two of those, eh? There's the dog. I, I, I'm really sorry, but... Wow, that was a one-hit wonder. Sorry, buddy. Oh, well, at least I get to check out my new hunting knife. I don't think we'll be able to pick up everything from this guy, but... Alright, what are we losing here? Stone arrow. Oh, nothing. We got everything? Wow, we did. We are overloaded. Alright, what are we scrapping? Uh, gotta scrap some stuff here. Let's eat this. 10% chance of food poison. Let's roll the dice. Let's use this. Scrap that. Keeping the bones for glue. Uh, compound bow, we want to scrap it? We might be able to sell it for something. I don't know. I don't know. At some point, we're going to need uh, more plastic, too. God. I want to take the plastic. We haven't found the supplies yet, so I have to have one... Wait a minute. Did I find the supplies? It was a fetch and destroy mission. Why? Do, what are we fetching? Return to trader. Um, well, we're going to need to have a slot for our reward. So it doesn't look like we're looting much here. Let's have a look. Is there anything amazing? Sure. Oh, God, really? Actually, you know what? Better than, well, you know what? We can sell the sham. Ah, let's just keep the chili. Don't want to fall prey to the sham scam. Take the shotgun. That's a lot of shotgun ammo. Plastic, eh? Right, let's use this. Uh, it's making me want to take plastic now. Forget it. We can always get plastic. Anything amazing? Oh! Okay, let's keep that, and then let's lose... Uh, we scrapped the hunting rifle. Scrapped the combat. We got plastic for the compound bow, though. Because we need one slot available. I know we got slots in the bikes, guys. I know we got slots in the bike, but... <sighs> the one egg. Paper. Oh, man. Okay. Nothing in there. We grabbed all that stuff. Any good clothing? Nothing. Got an SMG now, too. That's awesome. Okay, let's grab this. That big boy is still outside, too. I'm hearing him thumping around out there. All right, we can get into these now. Let's find out what this is. Cement mixer. Might as well take the leather. Already got a slot for it, so. Trash, nothing. All right, we're out of here. Ah, man. Okay. I hear you up there, buddy. There you are. There you are, cutie. Look at you. Good thing you move slow. Oh, you got that right on me too. God damn it. I gotta go wash my clothes. Let's go see if the trader's got a washing machine we can buy off him. 
Yeah, so as I was saying before about the, the, the series about, uh, you know, starting bases, this is a really cool base to start in. It's small enough that you can relatively defend it. Uh, put some spikes up at the gates here. Um, that's all stone, pretty much the walls and everything there. The roof isn't, but the, the walls are. Uh, you have enough room to uh, build up from the floor, at least for four spaces. Whoops. Um, so you're off the floor high enough so if they break in that they can't get to you. You know, and it's really, the structure wise, it's really, really, it's like a really, really sound uh, church to be in. And there's a few other places. The one place I always kind of uh, thought would be an interesting uh, total base build would be around one of these structures here. Because that's like steel, right? And with a concrete base, and you could just build up around it and go straight up and be building off the ground and then just reinforce those posts to reinforce steel. That's kind of a cool idea. I should do a series where I kind of do uh, base builds like that. And then this church up ahead, I think I mentioned this before. This is a great church because it's all brick with a concrete base to it. It doesn't have a graveyard around it, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can just use the walls of the church as your base. And it goes up too, right? So the floor is too high already. So if they're beating on the sides here, they're just beating into your floor. And if you raise the floor up one more on the inside, it's going to be difficult for them to get to you. So, I mean, a few bases like that are kind of cool. I should just do a series where I don't have an actual Horde Knight. And then just kind of like go into POIs like that with nothing and just show you how to set them up. Because that, that's kind of cool. Well, that's what I think is cool anyway about this series. Or about the uh, Seven Days to Die. Is you've got totally different um, uh, builds depending on where you start. And what building you want to start off in. And just fixing up a house for me is kind of cool. Alright, let's see what this trader's got here. Now, I'm going to mark this guy. i got to mark him on the map as to what he's got available to use. Going to have to leave the bike outside. I want to get it so that we can choose two, two quest rewards off these. Alright, let's get in here. You better have something good. Alright, let's check what this guy's got here. So... Destroyed chemistry station. I gotta go in here for the workbench. I think everything here is destroyed, right? Yeah, it's destroyed. If I am not too mistaken. Uh, the forge is working, which we don't need. And destroyed cement mixture. Okay, so let's just put this on the map here. Save waypoint. Trader. T hyphen F trader hyphen forge. I gotta do this guy too still. At some point. Alright, let's get our shiz. See what you got for us. Now how do you survivor? <sighs> Steel shovel. Better than what we have. Level three hunting knife. Ninety or fifty rounds of ammo. We're gonna be able to make our own shovel soon enough, so let's take the ammo. We're not getting any better uh, better stuff from this guy, unfortunately. Okay, we got a thousand though, so that's not bad. Another level too. We're leveling up fast. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. What do you got for a job? Another fetch quest. Nine hundred seventy some odd meters. I have a dilemma and could use some assistance. I can't thank you enough, friend. Yeah, I can do that. Eh, it's back where we were. Because of course it is. Alright, let's take this stuff home. Definitely can't do that right now. But we might ride there. Let's go. You know what? I wanna make some I wanna make some proper tools here. I think that's what we need to do more than anything. Getting tired of uh, having to fix these things every time we go out. So let's make some proper tools. Um and then if we've got enough time. Actually, you know what? Forget the proper tools. We'll do that uh, the next evening. I think we're going to see what we can sell, take it to the trader, sell it, and then head out and do that next uh, mission. I'm too far. That's fine. That's fine. Where's our... There we go. I could have sold some of the stuff to that guy, but... Oh, for... Are you serious? 
Okay. Alright, tell you what, let's do this. Uh, let's have a look at this treasure map. And see where that treasure is. If you're reading this note, it's probably worse than having this. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I know you're dead. Taylor. Taylor's treasure map. Uh, that's the quest. No, that's the that's the treasure map. Oh <gasps> wait, where's our No, it's over there. Yeah. What do we want to do? Dig for treasure? Oh, it's actually in a good biome, so it's not bad. But I think we want to go down and do this quest. So let's go do it. Let's get on our bike. And go do that. Still day 11. We got lots of time for questing and stuff. Let's get down there. If we have to spend the night there, we got to spend the night there. The other thing too is I can always ride back in the dark and come back to the house. Yeah, so as far as my series would go and the other uh, um, bases, this is another great base to start off in right here. Um, there's nothing on the second floor. And then the third floor is usually a couple of zombies. There's a safe up there. And there's also a safe buried in the rubble here. But this is another one of those buildings that's made of solid brick to start with. So it's relatively easy to defend. Especially early game. And it's it's more like this tower up here, right? Where it's like a it's a, just a square base. Just fill it in with concrete. Um, and just use it as a defense, defensible position. I gotta check out here. Really quick, because I don't think we're making it back tonight. Uh, I just want to see if we got anything. I picked up a cap, a couple of gas barrels already. Um, so it's a Victorian house, 138 meters. Probably this house right here. It's the same kind of house we were in just before. All right, Let's bring this in. Whoop. Old pig. All right. Let's put our frames in here just in case. Let's do this. Looks like it's on the main floor. So let's smoke the guys down here fast. Get up there. Oh, yeah, it's on the main floor. We could go in that way, but, you know. Uh, quiet. Not quiet. Mo, mo, it's always mo. Dead mo. Okay, let's check behind here. Clear. I'm hoping we can grab all this stuff, but I want to do the fetch first. I'll come back down and grab this shit before we leave. Why is it always Mo? The game is hearing me. It's like, what's that, Mo? You want more Mo? Sure. That's somebody upstairs, I think. Yep, it's Mo. Because who else would it be? <laughs> What's up, buddy? This whole town is full of Mo's. That kind of sounds bad, but you know what I mean. This guy's name is Mo, so... If you actually look it up in the... Uh, God, this guy takes so many hits. If you look it up in the um, the, the uh, game files, that's what his name is. Zombie Mo. There's also some Zombie Joe and a few others. This guy's name was Mo. Was. Not anymore. Now his name is Dead. Alright. Just because... Oh, there is somebody in there. Guess who it is? Mo, you know what? If you had a thinner belly, you probably would have su surprised me. So how many is that now? Four? Five? Okay, where are our supplies? Just over here. I'm going to grab them. Grab the stuff from the basement. Maybe we can make it back tonight. You definitely want to check this. Can't see how picking up pills is very hard work. I missed.
Hey, big boy. Is this it? No. We got three cowboy hats now, guys. Bet you it's in here. It is not in there. Where is it? Uh, what? Can't be under here, really? Where the heck is it? I'm like right on it. In here? No. That's the bag I checked. What am I missing? Check that. Uh, what the hell? Is it upstairs? It can't be upstairs. Well, at least we can get plastic out of this place. Somebody's sleeping. Shh. That's what happens when you're sleeping on the job. Obviously didn't teach you how to be a sentry. You keep your, you keep your shit awake as best you possibly can. She's feral. And I'm on. Oh, of course. Well, if they're not awake, they're awake now. Well, we knew we'd be facing our first feral soon enough. You know what it is? Is I put uh, the modifiers on the thing and I forgot to... Um, and I forgot to uh, reload. Come on. All right, you bastards. I know you're up there. Maybe not. Should we pistol this one? Probably. We're not going to be a chance to make it down. No, it is downstairs. It's almost night time, guys. That looked like it hurt. Woo! They're coming out of the ceiling. That is not good. At least they're all walkers. Okay. Should be somebody else. Pretty sure there was somebody else. No? I thought there was one more. Well, better to miscount than... Uh... <gasps> really? I wish those things went up in damage. It would make it would be it would make finding them so much better. To be all like, yeah, man, I can use that. Well, it wasn't nearly as hazardous as it was last time. 
I think we're staying here tonight. So we gotta make sure we clear this whole place. Mo, you're friggin' messing up my jive here. Mo likes to mess up my groove. Boom! Headshot. Can we shoot through there? Of course not. Come on. Well, I'm, I, you know, if these were steel arrows, it'd be so much better, but whatever. All right, and that is the end. Now we got to go downstairs and find that damn... And pray for no wandering hordes, man. I can definitely stay up here, though. The attic is segregated now. Ooh, nice. What we got here? Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, double storage pocket. Where do we want to put that? Um, right there. Right there. Nice. Two extra more storage slots. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now, what do we have on? We've already got a duster on, right? Yeah. Okay, let's... Uh, anything over here? Okay, we got some cobble. I am going to loot this place, guys. And I will find that... Um, supplies and once that is done I will spend the night here uh, and then in the morning we will head out and hopefully um, take another quest tomorrow we should get back to the traders most likely um, just in time for them to open I hope because uh, then once they're open we can easily take more uh, quests and I'm gonna have to be very careful all right, any, any episode here, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.